Man, I am so glad I didn't make a rash vow like Jephthah made in the book of Judges. Yeah, me too. That would have been my wife. Hey, welcome to the Takeaway Podcast. I'm Tanner Treffin, joined by Pastor Joey Rumble. And hey, we were just joking because this is a sad, serious issue we're talking about with Jephthah. But man, there was some good preaching points you brought up this past Sunday with don't with stop the downward spiral. Amen. Awesome, awesome sermon. Um, so what, what was the kind of the thought of the downward spiral? You want? Yeah, um, so the, the children of Israel, they kept this, uh, they would, uh, they forgot the Lord, so they would sin. And then all of a sudden, matter of fact, we showed a spiral there where they would sin and uh, then they would suffer the consequences of it, servitude, and that, that kept downward spiral. And then they, would, they got unbearable with the consequences so that they would call out to God and say, God, save us. And then there was the uh, part where uh, God would intervene, save them, salvation, rest, and then they would repeat the cycle again and again and again. So what I'm after is instead of sinning and keep repeating that cycle, let's turn it the other way and start repenting and doing it God's way and growing, growing, because it got worse and worse and worse instead of growing and being the men of God and the women of God, God called them to be and the children of God. And so that, that's, kind of, that's the concept of the, the whole book of Judges. It's yeah. again and again and again. Yeah, because I, I like what you were talking about on Sunday, that you like the book of Judges. And it's like, why do you like this book? The book is horrible. Because I think it's really sobering. It's oh, eye-opening. It is. It's like, man, sin has consequences. Let's do it different. Let's yeah. not live the same way. That's exactly why I love it. It is so simple of the mistakes they're making. Now, horrendous consequences of what they're doing, but it's so simple. And so that's why when we looked at, uh, I actually leaned into uh, Gideon, understanding the love of God and how much God loves you and that intimacy with the Lord, man of valor, beginning to reprogram your identity in Christ, not defined by your past or your circumstances, but by who the Lord says that you become a child of God. So that, that, is a huge leap into your growth when you start to understand your identity in Christ. And we had all the sheets grabbed from two of them that I offered. And then the daddy God sheets, we only had a few left over. And so we'll have those available again this week. Yeah. And, and that is so good on identity. And I, and I love that about Jephthah. He's such an interesting character uh, in the Bible. Like you brought up of how of Samuel, Samuel mentions him. And then uh, he's mentioned in the hall of all of faith in Hebrews 11, uh, and, but he has all these wounds of being uh, born of a prostitute, kicked out by his own brothers, being an outcast. Um, but then he gets be used by God to be a hero and, and a judge and a savior uh, for his country. And a lot of that is what you're just talking about, that he didn't let his circumstances dictate who his identity was, but he, he let God lean in there. So Yeah, and, and he didn't take offense. He made sure that he was um, not taking offense, that he realized God could use him regardless of his past. Yeah, that's all those three big points right there. And so the big takeaway, God can use us regardless of our past and that we don't need to let offense hold us back. Uh, so I love when we're looking at don't let the past hold you back, don't let offense hold you back. That w with the baptism service, Scripture talks about, uh, I've been crucified with Christ. It's no longer I who live, but Christ who lived within me. In baptism, I've been buried with Christ, mm. and now I come an up anew in Christ. And so that's all, baptism is all about letting the past go. Yeah. And huge identity verses, too, Yeah, who you are. Oh, my goodness. So it, this message speaks uh, to ba the baptism of people uh, which was great Sunday, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, shout out to the nine people that got baptized Sunday. So cool. Uh, Mackenzie, uh, her dad, Scott, Ethan, Marissa, Sandra, Susan, Aiden, Brian, and Peyton. Hey, great job. Way Congrats. to obey God and, and jump in and get baptized. Amen, so, amen. Uh, so cool story with uh, Mackenzie is uh, she gave a shout out to Miss Judy, her small group leader over in the student ministry. And Judy and Sue are, are moving on to uh, and moving to Florida. And so we're blessing them and, and excited for what God's going to use them there. But um, I texted Judy and said, hey, Mackenzie gave you a shout out. And she went back and watched it online and it was like, oh, it's so awesome. Glory to God. And so just great job. Uh, thanks for serving. Yeah, it's, it's so awesome. And, and the cool thing about uh, Sandra and Susan, their their sisters that heard the, the outdoor service two years in a row and sat in their backyard listening to it, 
decided to jump over the fence this past year and be a part of the outdoor service and then came on uh, Easter Sunday this year uh, and uh, and then give their hearts to the Lord. Wow. They've gotten saved. Now they just got Praise baptized. God. Such a cool story there. Yeah, that's just so cool. We're excited for outdoor service coming up. Happy fall, y'all. Yeah, happy fall, yeah. y'all. Oct- uh, last Sunday in October. So then it gets into the hard part about Jephthah, about not making rash commitments. And uh, you showed how that was completely unbiblical, what he did, and that he should have uh, known the Bible well. Being in the Bible helps you obey God uh, rightly. So, yeah, yeah, that's like, whew. So that's just nuts that he did that. I mean, just uh, to, every time I read that, I'm saying, are you kidding me? What are you thinking as a leader there? But, uh, but we, it's in Scripture. We need to wrestle with it. And when I, I share with the church, five of the biggest ten mistakes I've made were from making rash, quick decisions. And we were talking in uh, Team Leads today, and Miguel brought up that, uh, that I wanted to re- remind people of. Uh, one of the things I noticed is I didn't seek out wise counsel in those quiz, quick decisions anyway because they were so quick. And so I need to make sure, uh, we all need to make sure we keep uh, wise counsel in our life to keep us from making rash commitments and rash decisions. Because in this one, you don't see Jephthah asking uh, someone else, hey, should I make this, uh, you know, this commitment? Uh, should I make this uh, rash commitment? And so I, I just think that we need to slow down and think through our decisions because they have dire consequences. Yeah, that kind of reminds me of what we hit back on. Uh, you did it with Joshua of acquiring not of the Lord um, there too. Um, and so seeking God in prayer for wisdom and also seeking godly counsel from others helps you slow down there and make the decisions. Yeah, and so this is big. You got a home run hitter, and using the baseball term, uh, Gideon, who didn't finish well with the ephod. And now you got Jephthah leading another judge that did amazing things for the people of Israel that didn't finish well, that made a horrible moral decision that if he had known the Bible, right, the law, the back then, the law, uh, for us, you know, the whole Bible rightly, he wouldn't have made that decision because Leviticus uh, speaks into that of what he should have done in making a rash vow and instead of offering a sacrifice for uh, that rash vow he made. And so of an animal sacrifice for the Old Testament. Now for us in the New Testament, we just got to know that Jesus has been the eternal, ultimate sacrifice for us so that we don't have to pay for our sins. We're made uh, forgiven in Christ. So we, we just got to know our Bibles by getting into it yeah. and getting a study Bible. I First thing that can jumpstart besides getting in a group is getting in a study Bible, uh, like an ESV study Bible to really understand it. Yeah, and that's, that's my takeaway is to know the Bible uh, continually better. And one thing I'm leaning into is just systematic theology because systematic theology is taking uh, what the whole Bible says on any given specific topic. And so it's putting, compiling all those verses and like, hey, what does the Bible say on baptism or the, the theology of God? And just knowing that better because that will help me worship and, and lead better. Yeah, that's huge. So in the Bible talks about seeking wise counsel. And so if you know your Bible rightly, one of the biggest things from Jephthah we can take away that he failed not to do that we need to do to continue to grow in a spiral way for the Lord is to seek out godly people we trust that will give us wisdom. Mm. That's good. What was your takeaway? Um, is to continue to remember I've learned my lessons from rash commitments, and so don't make them in the future. Don't learn any more lessons. <laughs> yeah, I, I've, I've learned enough. But 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 the, another big one is make sure I pass that on. Make sure I continue to pass that on. And uh, uh, bef- But also want to remind everyone, worship night, September the 27th, uh, we're going to have uh, pizza and drinks at 5.30. As you're showing up, we'll have pizza and gr- drinks, hang out, have a good time, and then go into the worship night together. This is for kids as well as the whole student ministries coming over, uh, being a part of this service as well. Yeah, I'm, I'm fired up. I'm excited to counter God. And what was your biggest takeaway? Of just uh, uh, knowing the Bible better and, and yeah. studying it. So. Cool. Anything else the church? No, man, that's it. Super fired up about this week as we finish the book of Judges, as we're going to look at the life of Samson. And, uh, man, don't look out, man. It's going to be a great journey. I'm excited to hear Samson, man, such a, a captivating character that we learn about even as children, uh, learn about the Bible. So 
Uh, so church, what's your takeaway? Uh, let's walk in it together. Build your house on the rock and, and walk in the truth of God's word. God bless you guys. Thanks so much for listening.